Alright guys, hope y'all are doing well. I finally broke down, pulled the trigger, and bought a Smith & Wesson suitcase. Let's have a look inside. Would you look at the size of that? Smith & Wesson 500 Magnum. I can't tell you how excited I am to get this to the range. I had to remortgage to buy some ammunition for it, but uh, Smith & Wesson 500 Magnum. Read a bunch of articles, watched a bunch of videos, did my research like I do on almost every gun. And the variant I decided to go with is the high-vis front sight, interchangeable compensator, and the 8.38 inch barrel. You got an adjustable rear sight, five round cylinder. Man, this thing's a thing of beauty. Look at that. Let's see if I can get it all in frame at once. Anyway, can't wait to take this to the range, shoot the fire out of it. Just wanted to give you a closer look at it before I got it nice and dirty. Uh, trigger pull is unbelievable. It has this uh, wide competition trigger here. It's so crisp. Just drops the hammer. Uh, one of the articles I read said that it has a four pound trigger pull. I have no way of uh, confirming that. Feels lighter, and they did mention in the article it felt lighter because of that wide competition trigger. It feels incredibly crisp. And probably one of the nicest triggers I've wrapped my fingers around actually. But I'll be taking this out to the range and shooting the fire out of it once my ammunition arrives. And uh, what more can I tell you? Smith & Wesson X frame. I've never owned one before. I've shot one in the past. Uh, it was inevitable that I would buy one. I do have a hunting trip at the end of the month to Jurassic Park. Hope to take out a T-Rex, but if I don't get a T-Rex, I'll settle for a Velociraptor. But I'm going to take this to the range and uh, shoot the fire clean out of it, guys. Just wanted to give you all a closer look at it before I got it nice and dirty. Anyway, y'all have a great night, guys, and I'll talk to y'all later.